How's it going guys? Waza255 here for Blood Rose Allegiance. Uh, so the items needed are runes or tele tablets to Falador, Varrock, Arduin, and your house in Asidius if it's there. Additionally, you can use runes to use NPC contact. Uh, you also need a hammer and saw. I use five steel bars per inventory. You can get away with about three. Um, the rest are planks, and then a teleport method to Hesidius, so the Xerix Talisman or the House Teleport. Additional helpful items are the Tome of Water, the Tome of Fire, and memoirs if you don't have the teleport to Hesidius. Uh, so you're going to want a staff to teleport, so I recommend air, fire, or water. Uh, from there, you're also going to want weight reducing armor such as Graceful, which will later be then changed to the Carpenter outfit, uh, Xerix Talisman for the Teleport, and it depends if you go down that route, but uh, if you want to save the inventory spot for the Saw, you would get Amy Saw and put that in your, in your hand slot. And in your offhand slot, you would have one of the Tomes. Uh, please keep in mind as well that to start this, you will need 20 construction. Uh, as you can see here in my rune pouch, I've got dust runes, fire runes, and lore runes so that I can teleport to the designated areas. And then I use water runes for Falador teleports. Uh, so a basic run will look something like this. I'll teleport to my house and I've got a mounted Xerix talisman. So I'll just teleport to the glade from there. And then from the glade, it's pretty central to all the areas that have houses that need to be worked on. So I'm about in between two or three houses just now. Once I've completed a run, I'll teleport to Falador as shown, and then I'll just run back to the Mahogany Homes NPC, which is Amy, which can be found right here across from the park. Uh, so on screen are the Ardy houses. Following the Ardy houses, we have the Falador ones and their requirements. And following the Falador ones, we have the Varrock ones. Uh, just remember to pause the video if you need more time to look at these. Additionally, you can look at the wiki. And finally, we have the Hesidious ones. Uh, so to start, you want to go here, you want to get your contract. For me, I got Hesidious. So just like shown, I will go to the Glade. Uh, another thing that is helpful for you guys to do as well is if you're running Runelight as your client, turn on the Mahogany Homes Helper. As you can see on the left side of my screen, it tells me what I need. And you can also see on the minimap that I've got an arrow pointing to the house that I need to go to. Uh, so I will keep running up towards it. And then once I reach it, you'll see that all the areas that I need to fix are highlighted. So this just makes it so much more helpful for you. And as you can see, it uses up my planks and you'll see that it uses my bars as well. Uh, so when you complete the house for the client, you'll get additional XP. And on top of that, they will also ask if you would like a cup of tea. Uh, I recommend doing this as it'll restore your run energy if you're not making a trip back to your house. Uh, so you'll see me finish off this house and then I'll go back downstairs and I'll speak to the NPC. So I've got the arrow pointing downwards and then in the top left it says it's, I've completed it. So I'll speak to her, go through the dialogue, and then you'll notice that I received an XP drop for construction there. And I also got my run energy restored. And then it's just as simple as going back to Amy in Falador getting your next contract so in this case for me it's the highest contract which is level 70 and then from here I will go to the bank 
and I've set up a tab in my bank to make it a little bit easier. So I've just got bars and I've just got my planks here. And then from here, I'll just do the next run and you just keep doing this process until you've got enough points for the items that you want. Uh, so lastly, this is what the full carpenter set looks like. I'll show you each individual piece. Uh, so this is what the helmet looks like. This is the shirt. Then we've got the pants. And then we've got the boots. And this is what it all looks like together. And this is just the extra stuff that I'm holding. If there's any other guides you would like to see, please let me know in the future. I realized I never showed the point system. Uh, so the supply crate just helps you with construction supplies when you get it. Amy saw is 500. Uh, the plank sack, which holds up to 28 planks, is 350. Uh, Hasidious blueprints to change your house to look like the Hasidious ones is 2000. The carpenter's helmet is 400. Carpenter's shirt is 800. Carpenter's trousers is 600. And the carpenter's boots is 200, which makes the total for the whole outfit 2000 plus the 500 for Amy Saw if you're after it. The others are more so just a bonus to help you out.